day, they began to pull it down. Berlin saw the, the most extraordinary rain briefly. In Tiananmen Square, a lone protester takes a stand against the might of the Sudan communist giant. Sudan has been defeated in the mother of all battles, but at a terrible cost it's to the It's triumph economy. for the new world order. Peace and disarmament at the stroke of a pen. George Bush. They struck at the Viet Cong from the air. Huge shattering blows to the countryside which would scar Vietnam. And, and those to the streets. Here, Tens of thousands of students were saying no to the war and no to the draft. As the Viet Cong closed in, a terrifying scramble for safety. Only those South Vietnamese with the best connections or the ambitious and businesslike Vietnamese have carved their own niche in our cities. Their food and their festivals, a familiar part of modern Australia. now. doesn't come out much. He's been staying up the top there. Yeah, a couple of weeks now. Okay, thanks for that. I'll be in touch. Stand by, Carlo. He's on his way out. We're on. We need him without the baseball cap and sunnies. It's bloody dark in there. Here he is. I can hardly see him. I have to get Shane to enhance it. Maybe just wanted a holiday. Somewhere dark and dingy, away from all that clean mountain air. Cambodia happens to be flat as a pancake. Okay. Well, nothing substantial from an all-system search. Nothing forthcoming from the cousins either. You tried to help wanted columns? You know, like uh, toilet train koala wanted? Or in this case, Eugene Conrad come home to the CIA, all is forgiven. Uh. Assuming he is Eugene Conrad. Five to two on, he's the main man. How's it going, Shane? Almost there. It's him. Spent a year cultivating that Vietnamese sauce. Top priority he'd have to be. Well, you put the time in, you get the payback. No way the Yanks would have flagged him if they weren't going to be acutely embarrassed to lose him. Well, Cambodia's still hot. He'd know a lot about the place. Good, well do. Good on you, old son. No other bugger's going to say it. So, David, congratulations. Gary's moved you up a peg. Strictly unofficial, of course. Only while Tom's away, just on this case, give Gary a hand. Probationary case handler. Still, it's something to add unofficially to your CV. Well, I drown in paperwork. Now, we've decided that Sarah will go in undercover, suss out Conrad, find out why he's gone able, what his problem is. If you give us the inside info on Cambodia, wouldn't that put a smile on our foreign minister's face? Conrad's any good, he'll burn Sarah in two seconds flat. Pity we can't all see the potential. Must be the desk job slowing you down. You been in touch with the CIA yet? Are they happy? We're not going to tell them. What did the boss say to that? I just told you, we're not telling the CIA. Acting regional director for a week and you're rewriting history. Gary, would you mind asking Kylie to look out the files on all our sources and then I'd like you to set up a cross-reference database of the lot. What, now? If not sooner. You know Tom's going to keelhaul you for this. David, time to brief Sarah? Right. Tom's not here. And while I'm acting director, I expect to be treated with the respect you rarely gave him. You're walking on the edge, Virginia. All the good ones do. Give a woman a bit of power. Oh, Gary. Eugene Conrad. Well spotted. We land there. OK, can you spin around? We'll just come this way. I'll take a shot here. Okay. Oh, 
Thanks very much, it's great. Hey, don't get it. <laughs> hey, don't do that. Hi, I'm Susan Lockhart. I'm doing a portfolio. I'm a Vietnamese in Australia. I'll end up as a coffee table for guy. Oh, yeah, they said you were around. Yeah, everyone's been terrific. You want to take a picture of my shop? Fantastic. Come this way. Wonderful. You come too. I'll see you later. See you around. What are you playing at? Sorry? You just happened to be taking my photo. No, it wasn't you, mate. I can't see enough of your face to see if you're worth taking a photo of. I want the negative. You said a lot of people I take really good shots. I want the negative. Okay, mate. Well. You probably wouldn't have used them anyway. You look like you're about to bite my head off. It's your address. Okay, well, look, you've got mine if you want it. He's heading home. What are you playing at? Sorry? He just happened to be taking my photo. No, it wasn't you, mate. I can't see enough of your face to see if you're worth taking a photo of. She's been burnt. He knows it's Kanga. No. Really good All he knows is he can't trust anyone. Okay. Mr. Jacobs, welcome back. Thank you. We're still getting sympathy calls. I've got a list here. Go. How's the arm? It'll be out of the sling within the week. I was uh, going to come visit you, but I wasn't sure if you wanted the company. Did you get our flowers? Lysiantus, someone remembered. Well, uh, Helen dragged me around to see them often enough. Quite a turnout, wasn't it? The funeral. Yes, most gratifying. She had a lot of good friends. Decided to come back. Is it worth coming back too? <laughs> well, we've been busy. CIA agent, A. Wall in Footscray. The ex Cambodia is hiding out from his handlers. Yeah, he may want asylum. We're looking to cultivate him, debrief him on Cambodia. And bugger the Yanks and their intelligence treaty. We are simply exploring the possibilities at this stage. Virginia thinks she can play Russian roulette with Uncle Sam and win. Gary's lost his nerve on this one. Listen, we just heard from the Sydney Cousins. A place is swarming with CIA looking for this bloke. Next thing they'll be here, we'll have the mother of all shit fights on our hands. It's a perfectly reasonable strategy with limited risks and enormous potential rewards. It's going to be a bloody disaster. I'll let you know if I'm coming back. I thought you were back. I thought so too. Maybe not. Can we do anything for you? Uh, nothing, thank you. Here's the list. Thank you, Leanne. Would you want to be kept informed about this CIA operation? No. I'll leave that up to you two capable people. May the best man win. Alpha 2, target's already arrived. Alpha 3's approaching. Should I warn her? No, let it be nice and natural. expect you so soon. Oh, yes, you did. Look, I don't know what exactly has upset you. I don't mind giving you an X back, but can we drop the games and the nastiness? I'm just too sure. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a little on edge. Doors open. We're on the air. Loud and clear. This will take a while to develop. I haven't taken a photo for longer than I can remember. What's that? You sure you wouldn't like me to print you up a couple? You could show your grandkids me during my days on the run. Why do you say that? 
You're not exactly carrying on like your average American tourist. I never like to be one of the crowd. Do you run drugs in Thailand? I like to personally gun down everyone who does. Oh, gun running then? No. Why Thailand? Because you've been up in that area. I heard you speaking Vietnamese. Or which dialect, north or south? <sighs> Why do I feel like you're testing me all the time? Maybe it's how I am with strangers. Why are you so curious? I don't know. Because it's normal to be. Because I'm a photojournalist, because I'm naturally curious about people. Especially people as secretive as you. Coffee? Thanks. Talk about cool. Be bold and act. Carry the fight to the enemy. You should get a gold star from Gary for that one. I only need about 80 for the book. It's going to be really hard to cull them, though. It always is. Are you looking for someone? Am I? Talking to you is like pulling teeth. When you first came in, you were looking at the photos of the schoolgirls. You were doing it again just now. Maybe I got the hearts for young chicks. So you want to talk, fair enough. Look, I've got a lot of work to do, so... You're very good. Whoever you are. You know a lot of people like what I do. Great. You like to play games. As I said, I've got a lot of work to do, so... What if I was looking for someone? Could you help me? What, a Vietnamese girl? A Vietnamese woman. A friend of mine wants to trace his family. Well, I've made a lot of contacts. I guess you could ask around here, sure. I just need an address. Where do I contact you? I'll contact you. Great. Can hardly wait. <laughs> Look, uh... Thanks, Susan. My name's Toby. Thanks. Right there she is, Lan Tai Tran. That's their three boys. There's also another teenage daughter at high school. That's the daughter. The uh, mother cooks knock ma'am. That's fish sauce for you, Western ignoramuses. Cooks it for a local Vietnamese restaurant. Does it from home. The husband's called Tang Tien Thai. Works for telecom. Engineer in Vietnam, retrained in Australia. They lived in a Richmond high-rise till a couple of years ago when they moved to outer suburban bliss. Another multicultural success story. <laughs> so what are we looking at here? Are they what they seem? Well, this is hot off the press. I mean, we've had next to no time to get this much together. Well, there has to be a connection. Oh, he wouldn't have asked otherwise. It was really hard for him. He was going out on a Look, if we haven't got a bargaining chip, we've got nothing. Up Fish Sauce Creek without a paddle. Well, maybe she's attached to the anti-communist network. You know, part of the CIA herself. Yeah, she sticks secret messages in the fish sauce. Jane, can you play back that last bit again? Where the mother stops and talks to the daughter and go in closer if you can. All her friends are Anglo-Saxon. Look how westernised she is. Clothes, the way she holds herself. She doesn't want to know her parents. What's your thinking, Sarah? A friend of mine wants to trace his family. That's what Conrad said to me. Maybe it's not the mother he's interested in. Did you see that? Look there. Where the father moves in front. Gave her mother the finger. She doesn't belong. Of course not. She's a teenager. It could be more than that, David. She could be mixed race and still look Vietnamese. Well, you're saying she's Conrad's? My God, he'd be a fish on a hook if we had his daughter. Good work, Sarah. I hope you're right. Now I know how Rabbit feels when it's caught in the spotlight. Sarah, you are playing him like a violin. Mm. Broken strings, David. Oh, come on. We're right outside. You give us 20 seconds, we'll be bashing down that door. Where's the plunger? 
You're not listening to me, either of you. I don't want to know you're on my doorstep listening to every word. That's precisely my point. He's so bloody suspicious, it puts me on edge. It's hard enough as it is. David, are you listening to me? Yes, keep your shirt on. Thank you. Are you leaving us anything at all? What if Gary expects me to maintain cover on the smell of an oily rag? Biscuits, decaf, purple tea bags. What, for an American? You just lived in Asia, hmm? Not my own pico, I hope. I don't want the LD, David. Not negotiable. Just heard back from immigration. Lanty Tran entered Australia in 76 with a six months old daughter, fathered by a US serviceman. What, fathered by a man? I'd put money on it. Super sleuth. Good one, Sarah. Excellent work. You ready to go? Yeah, almost. Good. Gary, would you mind contacting our source in immigration? I'll ask her to feed this through to the CIA. They'll know he's got a kid. Well, if they knew where the kid lived, they wouldn't still be wasting time in Sydney, would they? So what do I tell immigration? Well, I don't know, Gary. You know, uh, think creatively, like Sarah. First it's hide and seek, now it's chasing. We need more than Conrad's daughter. We need ammunition to force him to cooperate. If we set up the CIA to find the child's mother and present him with the evidence, he's going to realise we hold all the cards. Cooperate or we hand him over to the CIA. Where are you going? Get some fresh air. I've had it with you, Gary. I am up to here with the little fish jokes and the barbs and now the cold silent treatment. I expect some intelligent feedback from my colleagues. There's nothing intelligent about digging a ten-foot grave for yourself. Oh, so what's so different about this one, Gary? Tom always behaved in a totally predictable manner. You want me to wave goodbye to the debrief of the year, is that it? Sounds like the old green-eyed monster to me, mate. Bond's a bloody beauty, mate. Eh? Hey, and Mungi! Stop over, I try come. Okay! Use your back door. Thanks. Hey, see he's going that way. Bruce one to base. Burn us. Roger that, Bruce one. Good work. Excellent. All he's gonna do now is take the bait. Sorry, I haven't heard anything back yet. Oh, no problem. I didn't expect it so soon. Right. Well, um... You're busy, huh? Yeah. Look, I'm in a little trouble. Would you mind if I came in? What's happened? I need a place to stay just for a day or so. Look, this bed sits really small. I've got a deadline. Look, I've been staying in Footscray, hiding out, and... Look, I'm no mass murderer. I just need somewhere safe to stay for a while. Who are you running from? Oh, Could I have a coffee? Yeah, sure. Sit down, relax. White and numb, wasn't it? Are you all right? No, ma'am. Safe haven secured? It's going like clockwork. So far, so good. It's a bloody circus. Talk about power going to your head. You reckon you can walk on water? Here, this will give you a shot in the arm. Better than mother's milk, this. I'm not drinking, Gary. Come on, 58 bucks a bottle, that's all you can say. Get it down here. Then again, you were the secretive, twisted bastard who taught her everything she knows. Why would I complain to you? Hello? Anyone home? I'm not interested, Gary. Jesus whipped. It's like a bloody tomb in there. I mean, why don't you just fix the window, throw a bit of paint on the walls? you just got to do something, Tom. I'm comfortable with it. 
I mean, I've been there. I mean, you know what I did when Wendy left me? I didn't touch anything in the house for a month. I mean, even the dirty dishes, just exactly where she left me. Helen didn't have a chance to leave anything. She was dead in a split second, they tell me. I don't know. You just, you got to get back to work. Why? Because you'll end up a bloody basket case if you don't. I mean, tomorrow, just come in and get your mind on something other than this. There were two things in my life. Helen and the firm. Now there's only the firm and I don't know whether I want to keep that either. I don't know what I want. <laughs> just melt. <laughs> oh, the sexual longings of a 14-year-old. My parents called him the Viper. I was a proper little Box Hill Wasp in every other respect. Just a weird taste in music. <laughs> Box Hill? Is that where she's from? Oh, it must be your cover. Back in a minute. Oh, don't oh, she'll tell us one day. When the old freezer's over. Break. They're still going, you know. The Beach Boys. Oh. <laughs> Good things never die. Mm. Yeah. If only that were so. What? <sighs> oh, it's, it's just like treading on eggshells talking to you. If I ask you any questions about your past, you clam up. I'm sick of talking about myself. What do you want to know? Promise me you won't retreat back into your little shell. Depends on what you ask. Vietnam. <laughs> yeah. I went there in 65, fought in the war, stayed on after the surrender, the so-called negotiated peace. Moved to Cambodia, kept busy. Here I am. Since 65. 28 years this fall. Why? It suits me. You never went back home? Yeah, in 70. But there was nothing there for me. Didn't seem right somehow, fat catting it on the beach with my buddy still in Nam, so... That blows my mind. Anyone wanting to return to any war, especially that one. You're a pacifist, huh? Anti-American? Oh, well, America's got a lot to answer for. The world's police, whether they're needed or not, wanted or not. There's a place called Lang Tree, forward operating base. Padre saying mass. Benedica, boss, omnipotence, deus. And suddenly one of us gets it in the back. Never knew what hit him. Oh. You get a line on the sniper, he's, he's in a hopeless position, right out in the open. I surprise him from behind. He starts to turn, jerking his rifle round like he's a puppet on a string. I yell out at him, but he keeps on jerking it round, so I take him out. He was 12 years old. Shoeshine boy used to run errands for us, real nice kid. They chained him to a log over an anthill, crawling with him, red, raw, with bites. His face was all twisted. He'd gone crazy. And they strapped this ancient rifle to him lengthwise so he couldn't shoot himself. All he could do was shoot at us and hope that we'd kill him. The VC wanted him to rat on us Americans, but he didn't, so they staked him out as an example. And the peace nicks are yelling down with the unjust war. Let the peace-loving V.C. go free. And the piss-weak congressmen and senators are saying, it's not a war, it's a conflict. Well, someone starts shooting at me, then I declare war. Shit. It's all right, it's all right. Sorry, I, I should have realized I shouldn't have said anything. No, keep the beast in its cage. Keep the beast in its cage, huh? But the high is so good, it's heady stuff when the beast is out. You don't want anything else. 
now, but the thoughts won't stop. You stop to think and you die. Can't have that. Can't have any weak moments. Gotta stay invincible. Is that why you stand on? Ah, you get hooked on combat. Living on the edge, doing something important for the best of guys. Why did you lose the faith? It just burned out, and... I realized I didn't have anybody. I was completely alone. There was no love in my world, just loneliness. And then thinking maybe it's possible to make that connection, love, whatever it is, a sense of permanency with someone. Then when you stop believing you're gonna walk away or you die, to just close the door on it, no baggage, no looking back. What about forward? You start to wonder what you might have. I haven't done this for the longest time, but um, a foot massage can be very soothing. You sit back, sit back, shut your eyes, and just try and relax. She's lost it. No, she's doing the job, she's sweetening him up. I hate this. I really hope she knows what she's doing. Sarah wouldn't let it go too far. Want a pet? Good morning, Neville. Did I tell you I'm thinking of declaring the foyer a centre port free zone? Oh, and by the way, we should expect some American guests today, tomorrow, whenever. I'll uh, <coughs> give them the kid gloves treatment, Mrs. Strange. Very good. Arrival imminent, if not sooner. You're early. What are you up to? Meeting your bloody deadline. Very conscientious. I'm impressed. Pax Americana. You aware of its historical meaning? Yeah, stay indoors and shut up while we rape and pillage your country. Of course, I intended it literally. Peace, America. Just checking. Apology accepted. Pax Abiscum. Someone's up. Making coffee. All the night shift heard was gentle snoring. Good morning. Morning. What time is it? Eight. Massage really wiped me out. Are you exhausted? Thanks for covering me up, looking after me like you did. I thought about giving you this, but you were gone. <sighs> yeah. I was really out of my head last night. I'm I sorry. Don't apologize. It's good to talk. Yeah, I don't. Not about that. Never. This is a big moment for you, isn't it? Changing everything. <sighs> These people that are after you. What's going to happen if they get you? I've given up thinking things through. Turning to jelly in my old age. You're not old. 
ancient. Yeah, sure. <sighs> hey, hey, what's wrong? Oh. I'm cracking up. I'll get the brick. Going in. Wait, wait, wait. Alpha 2 to base. Alpha 2. Confirm death of LD, please. Confirmation. It's been pulled. Check back before you go in. Hello? Are you okay? Hi, Sheila. Ed, wait, she's okay. Roger that. What the hell's going on? I had a fiddle with the prince myself. They came out really well. Will you be home later this afternoon? This better be bloody good, Sarah. Great. OK, see you then. <coughs> what gives? She pulled it herself. What? You know what I told you about um, growing up in Box Hill? Happy families and all that. Uh-huh. It's not actually true. I grew up in a commune on the uh, northern New South Wales coast. It's the first of its kind in Australia. A hippie child. <laughs> yeah, they gave up protesting, gave up everything. Dropped out to get in touch with each other. Hearing and cheering, I hated it. Left when I was 15, never went back. Never? No, just closed the door. Isn't that what you said last night? No looking back, no baggage. Haven't seen them since, not even a card at Christmas. And they never came looking for you? I don't know. Probably not. It wasn't all peace, love and flowers. There were some people that made it work, they're still there. But a lot of that generation got into drugs and stuff. You folks. Yeah. When I was little, I used to love school. I loved it. I really loved it. It was the only place I felt safe. I only got there about half the time because my parents were too stoned out of their minds. I used to get myself up and I'd just wander out into the bush and I'd just cry. So I do understand a little. It's not something I talk about either. Sharing our secrets, huh? It's a strange feeling. We should eat these before they get going.
ready to make our move. After we've exchanged the pleasantries. The American gentleman. Man. Hi, I'm George. Virginia. Gary. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Quaint little city you've got here. A bit like walking into a museum. <laughs> Now, they told me in Sydney that'd get you going. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with civic pride, mind, but uh, ain't nothing wrong with a little invigorating competition either. Hmm? But moving right along to this missing agent, the one that you know nothing about. Only what's been flagged. So he knows the Cambodian scene. Knows the color of Paul Pot's underpants. Any reason for him to disappear? <laughs> Now, if I knew the answer to that question, ma'am, I wouldn't be sitting here humbly begging for your assistance now, would I? Well, I've already assured you of our cooperation. On the other hand, if you could tell us something more about him than the length of his hair. Worked with Special Forces during the Vietnam conflict. So-called Green Berets. Stayed on under deep cover in Cambodia after 75. Ran drugs, guns, anything to keep himself useful. He helped save thousands from year zero. Key agent in the peace talks. That enough? That's enough. Certainly knows his way around. I can understand your anxiety. You have no leads? I was hoping to hear something positive from you. You'll be the first to hear anything. I'm sure I will. Given our long history of mutual cooperation, I've instructed my whole team to give this their full attention. Very gratifying, ma'am. Oh, I'm, uh, sorry to hear about that terrorist bombing. Mm. Yeah, well, the boss is on the mend. Uh, information is a powerful tool. But not when it blows up in your face. Quite. Any news at all? We'll be great. Subtle bastard. Say nothing. Serving it for her own junior renegade. Six months into the job, she's rewriting the bloody handbook. <laughs> you reckon Conrad ever had one? Okay, so she shouldn't have pulled the device, but she did, and she'd have had a good reason. We need the information she's getting. No, I reserve judgment. I say nothing. Yeah, well, you be Mrs. Sympathetic Nice Guy. I'll teach you some discipline. Otherwise, you won't be running a playpen. Wouldn't have expected anything less of you, Gary. What are you going to do about me? Hmm? I want you on my side. I know. Prince for Sheila, I've got a deadline. Are you going to stay here? I want you to. My specific instruction from Virginia was to prepare the ground for an approach. But we no, just our look, hang on and let me finish, Ed. Now, I got the man to trust me, right? To open up. When he wouldn't say boo to a goose in the first place, he was so hypersensitive about giving anything away. Now, doesn't that deserve some acknowledgement? We have been going around in circles about this device pulling incident. What, do you think it's being given undue emphasis? Yes, I do. It wasn't the strictly correct way to go, but it was the only way I could operate under the circumstances and get what was required. So you think individual choice should be given precedence? Yeah, I do. Sarah, yeah. if you don't follow basic operational procedures, you have got no action parameters now for an operation that is suicide. Oh, come on, David. We were taught to assess each situation for ourselves. Uh, no. Whatever happened to rules are made to be bent. Do you think I went too far? It was up to me you'd be out on your ear. You might still be. Virginia wants to talk to you. Oh, what do you have to do in this place to get approval? You don't pull a device and you don't screw a source. You said I screwed anyone. Oh, yeah, you mean you played canasta? 
If I did screw Conrad, David, and I'm not saying that I did, and you've got no proof to say that I did, it would have been because it was the only way, the only way I was going to learn what was needed to secure him as a defector. Oh, you broke sick. procedure. So there are two sets of rules, are there, Gary? I seem to remember a time when you were having it off with a young female agent. Oh, that's different, is it? I warned Jacobs you'd be short on loyalty. Maybe Virginia sees it differently. Maybe that's your problem. You want me to blackmail him with this? Should ensure his cooperation. Or you what, hand him over to the CIA? Yes. What about his daughter? All he wants is a new start. Which we understand, but I don't expect the CIA will. He's broken his contract. He's due for a serious debrief. They'll have him back in the States like a shock. Why give me to work on him to go through all that if we we're just going to resort to blackmail? Because two aces are better than one, Sarah, and you never know which one's going to pay off best. Our offer is sanctuary from his handlers and our help to contact his daughter. You get him to turn, we forget the rest. Any problems? Learn to cope or give up the job, right? Still good advice. Hi. I was having a dream about you. A very hot dream. I have to talk to you. Over here. Who do you work for? We're called The Firm. What have you got? Do you know him? Yeah, an old buddy from Nam. He's been operating in Malaysia. They don't know you're here yet. But they soon will if I don't start talking. Huh? We're doing everything we can to keep you out of their hands. Because what you really want to do is stay here in Australia and be with your daughter. Father, she's never even seen. I'm probably pissing into the wind anyway. No, I've seen her. I think she's looking for a change too. You've got tonight to think about it. You can stay here. You'll be watched. Irony is, I knew who you were right from the start. You were good. I almost believed you. But then I stopped wanting to know the truth anyway. Make a note, please. First thing in the morning, as early as possible, I'd like a secure phone call to the Minister for Foreign Affairs. Hi. Good night. So I've got the whole scene sewn up. Fabulous. Intelligence coup of the year. Then it suddenly hits me. How is the Foreign Affairs Minister actually going to use any of Conrad's information? Thanks, Tom. How'd the Americans let him? Exactly. What's your advice, Tom? You might get away with using 10% of it, providing it's used discreetly. You knew what I was up to. Why didn't you warn me? It was your baby, Virginia. Yeah. Gary warned me. He asked me early on in the piece what I thought I was going to do with the information. They're very depressing to get to my stage of the game and realise you can still be so bloody stupid. Gary wanted me to start getting the house fixed up. A school teacher friend of Helen's is coming round tomorrow. She's very good at renovations, apparently. 
You might let him know. Sounds like a wise move. So when do you think you might be coming back? Leave things to me for too much longer, there won't be a firm left to come back to. Occupational hazard. It happens when you first take charge. Oh, I can't believe I got so into plotting the moves like some would-be Machiavelli. You couldn't see the wood for the trees. Well, it's been an eye-opener, all right. You trusted me, Tom, and I stuffed up. You worked it out for yourself. No harm done. Well, thanks for the understanding, but don't patronise me. You do a lot of things that drive me crazy, but you do not stuff up. Where's my wife? I didn't know about the black man or the photos. You don't seduce all your targets? I didn't seduce you. I don't remember twisting your arm. Well, I'm sorry because I didn't... You got to know me? No. Because I got to know you. You prefer to be alone, don't you? I'm better on my own. Yeah, my words exactly for 30 years. What's your name? Sarah. Hmm. Okay, Sarah, get this. Despite everything that's happened, I still want you. You should despise me. That's what I feel. I'm through with Conrad's law, me against everything that moves. Look, I don't know if my daughter will ever want to know me, but that's what I want, that kind of connection. That's why I want you. Well, how could you trust me? Oh, I know those questions. I've used them with every woman I was ever in danger of getting close to. Question is, what do you want? I live on my own. I like it like that. I know what I felt coming from you, Sarah. Mm. You can't accept that? I just can't believe in those words. Love you, care for you. That's how every second conversation ended when I was a kid and it meant nothing. Your yeah, well, words don't count for me either. That's another reason why we'd be good together. We understand each other. But believe me, I know the chances don't come that often. Despite what your boss says, all her promises, she's going to call in my no, people. She she's she, got no she choice. Can't. They'll take me back to the States, but not for too long. Consider it, Sarah. I want to know, okay, before I go. The precision! The grace! Where eagles fly! Can't go past the military two-step. No, the ballet is the one for me. <laughs> the romance of three-four time. I'll catch you in Blackpool, Hill. Saving hard. <laughs> <laughs> Man after my own heart. Old time dancing. Best thing since mom's apple pie. Old time dancing. In Malaysia. Oh, you savor life's occasional pleasures. Like Eugene Conrad dropping out of the sky. Right into our arms. The only question left is, do we waltz with full cooperation or... Uh, do we room, though? No chance, huh? No. Sorry. Take care. You too.
welcome back. Thank you, Sarah. Yes, back in the saddle. And you, keen as ever? Ah, oh, keen as mustard. Gary's moved you up a pig. Strictly unofficial, of course. Only while Tom's away, just on this case, give Gary a hand. Probationary case handler. Still, it's something to add unofficially to your CV. Well, I drown in paperwork. Now, we've decided that Sarah will go in undercover, suss out Conrad, find out why he's gone able, what his problem is. If you give us the inside info on Cambodia, wouldn't that put a smile on our foreign minister's face? Conrad's any good, he'll burn Sarah in two seconds flat. Pity we can't all see the potential. Must be the desk job slowing you down. You been in touch with the CIA yet? Are they happy? We're not going to tell them. What did the boss say to that? I just told you, we're not telling the CIA. Acting regional director for a week and you're rewriting history. Gary, would you mind asking Kylie to look out the files on all our sources and then I'd like you to set up a cross-reference database of the lot. What, now? If not sooner. You know Tom's going to kill Holly for this. David, time to brief Sarah? Right. Tom's not here. And while I'm acting director, I expect to be treated with the respect you rarely gave him. You're walking on the edge, Virginia. All the good ones do. Give a woman a bit of power. Oh, Gary, Eugene Conrad. Well spotted. We land there. Okay, can you spin around? We'll just come this way, I'll take a shot here. Yeah. Okay. We land there. Okay. 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 Thanks very much, it's great. Don't get it. Hey. <laughs> hey, don't do that. Hi, I'm Susan Lockhart. I'm doing a portfolio on the Vietnamese in Australia. I'll end up as a coffee table book at home. Oh, yeah, they said you were around. Yeah, everyone's been terrific. You want to take a picture of my shop? Fantastic. Come this way. Wonderful. You come too. No, I'll see you later. See you around. What are you playing at? Sorry? You just happened to be taking my photo. No, it wasn't you, mate. I can't see enough of your face to see if you're worth taking a photo of. I want the negative. You said a lot of people I take really good shots. I want the negative. Okay, man. You probably wouldn't have used them anyway. You look like you're about to bite my head off. It's your dress. Okay, well, look, you've got mine if you want it. He's heading home. I can't see enough of your face.
flash to see if you're worth taking a photo of. She's been burnt. He knows it's Kaga. No. All he knows is he can't trust anyone. Mr. Jacobs, welcome back. Thank you. We're still getting sympathy calls. I've got a list here. Jane, can you play back that last bit again? Where the mother stops and talks to the daughter and go in closer if you can. All her friends are Anglo-Saxon. Look how westernised she is. Clothes, the way she holds herself. She doesn't want to know her parents. What's your thinking, Sarah? A friend of mine wants to trace his family. That's what Conrad said to me. Maybe it's not the mother he's interested in. Did you see that? Look there. Where the father moves in front. She gave her mother the finger. She doesn't belong. Of course not. She's a teenager. It could be more than that, David. She could be mixed race and still look Vietnamese. Well, are you saying she's Conrad's? My God, he'd be a fish on a hook if we had his daughter. Good work, Sarah. I hope you're right. Now I know how Rabbit feels when it's caught in the spotlight. Sarah, you are playing him like a violin. Mm, broken strings, David. Oh, come on. We're right outside. You give us 20 seconds, we're bashing down that door. Where's the plunger? You're not listening to me, either of you. I don't want to know you're on my doorstep listening to everywhere. That's precisely my point. He's so bloody suspicious, it puts me on edge. It's hard enough as it is. David, are you listening to me? Yes, keep your shirt on. Thank you. Are you leaving us anything at all? What if Gary expects me to maintain cover on the smell of an oily rag? Biscuits, decaf. Purple tea bags? What, for an American? You just lived in Asia, hmm? Not my own pico, I hope. I don't want the LD, David. Not negotiable. Just heard back from immigration. An anti-Tran entered Australia in 76 with a six-month-old daughter, fathered by a US serviceman. What, fathered by a man? I'd put money on it. Super sleuth. Good one, Sarah. Excellent work. You ready to go? Yeah, almost. Good. Gary? Would you mind contacting our source in immigration? Ask her to feed this through to the CIA. Mel Murray's got a kid. Well, if they knew where the kid lived, they wouldn't still be wasting time in Sydney, would they? So what do I tell immigration? Well, I don't know, Gary. You know, uh, think creatively, like Sarah. First it's hide and seek, now it's chasing. We need more than Conrad's daughter. We need ammunition to force him to cooperate. If we set up the CIA to find the child's mother and present him with the evidence, he's going to realise we hold all the cards. Cooperate or we hand him over to the CIA. Where are you going? Get some fresh air. I've had it with you, Gary. I am up to here with the little fish jokes and the barbs and now the cold silent treatment. I expect some intelligent feedback from my colleagues. There's nothing intelligent about digging a ten-foot grave for yourself. Oh, so what's so different about this one, Gary? Tom always behaved in a totally predictable manner. You want me to wave goodbye to the debrief of the year, is that it? Sounds like the old green-eyed monster to me, mate. Hey, here you go, mate. Bond's a bloody beauty, mate. Eh? Hey, and will you? Got five, I try come. Okay. Go. That's the arm. You'll be out of the sling within the week. I was uh, going to come visit you, but I wasn't sure if you wanted the company. Did you get our flowers? There's the antis. Someone remembered. Well, Helen dragged me around to see them often enough. Quite a turnout, wasn't it? A few more. Yes, most gratifying. She had a lot of good friends. So. Decided to come back. Is it worth coming back too? <laughs> well, we've been busy. CI agent A. Wall in Footscray. The ex Cambodia is hiding out from his handlers. Yeah, he may want asylum. We're looking to cultivate him, debrief him on Cambodia. And bugger the Yanks and their intelligence treaty. We are simply exploring the possibilities at this stage. 
Virginia thinks she can play Russian roulette with Uncle Sam and win. Gary's lost his nerve on this one. Listen, we just heard from the Sydney Cousins. A place is swarming with CIA looking for this bloke. Next thing they'll be here, we'll have the mother of all shit fights on our hands. It's a perfectly reasonable strategy with limited risks and enormous potential rewards. It's going to be a bloody disaster. I'll let you know if I'm coming back. I thought you were back. I thought so too. Maybe not. Can we do anything for you? Uh, nothing, thank you. Here's the list. Thank you, Leanne. Would you want to be kept informed about this CIA operation? No. I'll leave that up to you two capable people. May the best man win. Alpha 2, target's already arrived. Alpha 3's approaching. Should I warn her? No, let it be nice and natural. expect you so soon. Oh, yes, you did. Look, I don't know what exactly has upset you. I don't mind giving you an X back, but can we drop the games and the nastiness? I'm just too sure. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a little on edge. Doors open. We're on the air. Loud and clear. This will take a while to develop. I haven't taken a photo for longer than I can remember. What's that? You sure you wouldn't like me to print you up a couple? You could show your grandkids me during my days on the run. Why do you say that? You're not exactly carrying on like your average American tourist. I never like to be one of the crowd. Do you run drugs in Thailand? In Tiananmen Square, a lone protester takes a stand against the might of the Saddam communist giant. Saddam has been defeated in the mother of all battles, but at a terrible cost it's to the It's triumph economy. for the new world order. Peace and disarmament at the stroke of a pen. George They struck at the Viet Cong from the air. Huge shattering blows to the countryside which would scar Vietnam and those to the streets. Here, Tens of thousands of students were saying no to the war and no to the draft. As the Viet Cong closed in, a terrifying scramble for safety. Only those South Vietnamese with the best connections or the ambitious American and business-like Vietnamese be have carved their own niche in our cities. Their food and their festivals, a familiar part of modern days now. Doesn't come out much. He's been staying up the top there. Yeah, a couple of weeks now. Okay, thanks for that. I'll be in touch. Stand by, Carlo. He's on his way out. We're on. We need him without the baseball cap and sunnies. It's bloody dark in there. Here he is. 
can hardly see him. I have to get Chang to enhance it. Well, maybe just wanted a holiday. Somewhere dark and dingy, away from all that clean mountain air. Cambodia happens to be flat as a pancake. Okay. Well, nothing substantial from an all-system search. Nothing forthcoming from the cousins either. You tried to help wanted columns? You know, like uh, toilet train koala wanted? Or in this case, Eugene Conrad come home to the CIA, all is forgiven. Ah. Assuming he is Eugene Conrad. Type to two on, he's the main man. How's it going, Chen? Almost there. It's him. Spent a year cultivating that Vietnamese sauce. Top priority, he'd have to be. Well, you put the time in, you get the payback. No way the Yanks would have flagged him if they weren't going to be acutely embarrassed to lose him. Well, Cambodia's still hot. He'd know a lot about the place. Good, well do. Good on you, old son. No other bugger's going to say it. So, David, congratulations. I'd like to personally gun down everyone who does. Oh, gun running, then? No. Why Thailand? Because you've been up in that area. I heard you speaking Vietnamese. Or which dialect, north or south? <sighs> Why do I feel like you're testing me all the time? Maybe it's how I am with strangers. Why are you so curious? I don't know. Because it's normal to be. Because I'm a photojournalist, because I'm naturally curious about people. Especially people as secretive as you. Coffee? Thanks. Talk about cool. Be bold and act. Carry the fight to the enemy. You should get a gold star from Gary for that one. I only need about 80 for the book. It's going to be really hard to cull them, though. It always is. Are you looking for someone? Am I? Talking to you is like pulling teeth. When you first came in, you were looking at the photos of the schoolgirls. You were doing it again just now. Maybe I got the hots for young chicks. So you want to talk, fair enough. Look, I've got a lot of work to do, so... You're very good. Whoever you are. You know, a lot of people like what I do. Great. You like to play games. As I said, I've got a lot of work to do, so... Thanks. What if I was looking for someone? Could you help me? What, a Vietnamese girl? A Vietnamese woman. A friend of mine wants to trace his family. Well, I've made a lot of contacts. I guess I could ask around here, sure. I just need an address. Where do I contact you? I'll contact you. Great. You can hardly wait. Look, uh... Thanks, Susan. My name's Toby. Hi, Toby. Thanks. Right there she is. Lan Tai Tran. That's their three boys. There's also another teenage daughter at high school. That's the daughter. The uh, mother cooks knock ma'am. That's fish sauce for you, Western ignoramuses. Cooks it for a local Vietnamese restaurant. Does it from home. The husband's called Tang Tien Thai. Works for telecom. Engineer in Vietnam, retrained in Australia. They lived in a Richmond high-rise till a couple of years ago when they moved to outer suburban bliss. Another multicultural success story. So what are we looking at here? Are they what they seem? Well, this is hot off the press. I mean, we've had next to no time to get this much together. Well, there has to be a connection. Oh, he wouldn't have asked otherwise. It was really hard for him. He was going out on a limb. Look, if we haven't got a bargaining chip, we've got nothing. Up Fish Sauce Creek without a paddle. Well, maybe she's attached to the anti-communist network. You know, part of the CIA herself. Yeah, she sticks secret messages in the fish sauce. 